Technology is often an important component in achieving development outcomes, whether that's medical diagnostics to prevent disease, silos to enable small farms to preserve their crops for consumption later, or solar lanterns so that the children can study at night in off-grid homes. We know that prosperity has grown as technology has transformed the way we live, but not every new product is a net improvement over the state of the art. In recent years, there has been a proliferation of products available in developing countries, such as water filters, solar lights, and improved cook stoves. Although this provides greater choice and flexibility, consumer and procurement agencies may lack information about the suitability, scalability, and sustainability of the products, making it difficult to choose the most appropriate solutions. Technology evaluations, like those conducted by site, provide data from the lab and the field that can be used to compare product, products across a variety of characteristics. By using technology evaluation before investing in these technologies, you can understand whether it's going to be something that works well, whether it's going to meet the needs of the user both now and in the future, and also whether it's going to work well within the environment. Technology evaluation in advance of a purchase decision can help a lot to reduce the risk of, of wasting money that could be spent better in another place. First, students will learn how to assess micro-level technologies in a kind of a new way which has been used by the Comprehensive Initiative on Technology Evaluation. Through this course, students will learn about technology evaluation and how to evaluate the suitability, scalability, and sustainability of different products. In this evaluation, you would learn how to assess the design of products, whether they're indeed uh, useful for the poor. You would learn uh, why some products reach the poor and others don't. And you will also learn why some products uh, keep on being used for a long time while others get discarded very quickly. Through my sessions in particular, students will learn about the history of evaluation, how to engage partners in technology evaluation, how to field test products, and how to make their evaluations leaner. We're going to discuss principles and use examples about how to design and evaluate business models to achieve scalable technology adoption. To do so, we have to look across the entire supply chain. We have to look upstream at the procurement and the production of those technologies. We need to look at the channels to market and make sure that the distribution and training and promotion is effectively put in place and understand how well that works by talking with market participants and end users. And we'll also look at the important aspect of the business criteria for each partner in that supply chain. A key outcome of this course relates to experimentation. I hope that each student will have a chance to reflect on the different ways to conduct an investigation and analyze the resulting data.